Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is the second video tutorial on my web scraping series with Python. Now in this video, we are going to be scraping some search results from Axe.com. We all know there are various search engines. We have Google, we have Bing, we have Ask.com, we have Yahoo Search, we have Yandex. But today, we are going to be specifying mainly on Ask.com. Let me head over to the site. It's going to open. Now this is ax.com search engine. Now what we want to do is want to scrape the search results that come out when you search anything. Let's say we're searching something like Bill Gates. Now when I search this, it should bring out some queries, like some results. We just give that a second, it should do. Now you see all these results is what we want to scrape. We're going to scrape the title, we're going to scrape the URL link, and maybe we're going to scrape the description. But for now, let's just stick with scraping the title. Then when I scrape the title, you guys can implement the knowledge you learned here and then scrape the URL and the description. So this can be used in creating your own search engine, basically. Just using ask.com data, scrape the data and then implement it in your own search engine. So let's dive straight into that. You are my Visual Studio Code, as we all know, I'm first going to import requests. If you are new to web scraping, as I said, this is the second video on the web scraping tutorial series on my channel. You should definitely watch the first video. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. There, I talked about the basis of web scraping with Python, so that anything we are doing here will not be weird to you. Now, after I put requests, let's import Beautiful Soup. From BS4, import beautiful soup. Now we have this. What do we need now? We need the URL. We need to get a request from the URL. What URL is that? The search of Bill Gates. So I'm just gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna say res equals to requests dot get. So we're gonna do something like this and paste it. As simple as that. Now when we get the request from the URL, what we want to do, we want to convert what we got into a soup function. So to do that, we'll say soup equals to beautiful soup. We're going to open a bracket. We're going to say rest.txt. We're going to put a comma, and we're going to put something like this and write lxml. lxml. Yes. Now for us to get the all these titles, what we need to do is to Press click on inspect, right click on it and click on inspect. This will take you to the developer options, right? So first let me move this from mobile. Now what we need to know about this is that it's in an A tag and the class of that A tag is partial search result dot partial search result iPhone item iPhone title iPhone link then result link. And then all we need to do is to get this text. That's all about Bill Gates Foundation grants. So for us to do that, we're going to come into our Visual Studio Code and we're going to type, let's say results, or let's say title. Let's name it results title. Results title. And then we're going to say it should be equals to soup dot find all. I think it is in a div tag. I said it was in an A tag, but if you look above it, it's in a div tag which specifies Patricia search result item title. So it's in a div tag and the class is Patricia search result item title. So we're just gonna get the text. So what we're gonna do now is div. We can also do this, but when we print it, it's going to give us everything we have in div tag. You see, we have a lot of div tags. But for us to specify that, for us to give it more information to give us what we want, we're going to specify the class it belongs to. So today I'm going to put a comma, open a curly braces packet, and then type class, and then the class is equals to, we need to come here and copy this to avoid any mistake. Okay, we want to copy from the div tag. Now we need to do is to copy that class, the name of that class, copy it, and then paste it here. I think this is it. Then what we need to do now is to print, 
do we need to print yeah we need to print results title let's print the old result title now you see it's going to give us a div tag let's print it and see it's going to give us a bunch of div tags okay so yeah as you guys can see in all this it's giving us all the div tags which has the class named purchase access results title you see it's giving us a div tag purchase access result title that's all but what we want to do we want to get the text in between these div tags and the first one as you can see what well, here's the text all about bill gates foundation grant if you come here you see it's all about bill gates foundation grant so what i want to do we're going to loop through all those gift tags and get the text in the tags so it's going to give us all of this so let's just do something like this we're going to do dot get text i think this is it now when we save this and run it again just let me kill this terminal and then let's run it again now this should give us only the titles okay now it's saying there's an error okay it's saying it can't get the list yet and i know why this is happening because we didn't put it in a for loop but that's cool what we just need to do now is to just say result title let's only get the first one all this all about begin foundation so what we need to do is result title zero the one with the index zero that's the first one and then it's going to print the text now we should not have any problem here it should be easy now now you see it gave us all about bill gate foundation grants that's what we need here all about bill gate foundation grants let's print the second one here keep your baby contained with this 10 baby gates so we're just going to type one and when we print this it should give us the next title you see it says keep your baby contained with this 10 babies gates exactly what's there now we can do this for everything but for us to get everything at once, we're going to loop through it. So we're going to do a for loop. We're going to say for titles in result title. Okay, let's press the tab. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this index number. I'm going to say titles.getText, basically. Now let's try it out let's run this and let's see what it gives us now you see that worked perfectly let me make this a little bit larger you see when we run it from this place it gave us all about Bill Gates foundation grant keeps your baby contained crazy it gave us everything to the bottom this is the bottom here what is Bill Gates email address what is Bill Gates? Where is it? What is Bill Gates email address? That's how to basically scrape a search result from ask.com. All these, we're not getting all these titles because they are not search results, they are ads. As you can see here, ad, ad. If we scroll up also, the reason why we don't get all these is because they are ads. So if you want to get only the ads results, you can also do that web scraping. It's really powerful. You can do anything you want. Now that's basically how to scrape ask.com search results. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe and click on the notification button so you get notified when I drop new videos like this. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer all questions. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.